I think I figured out why I like the cold aside from the reasons that I've already explained on this channel I remembered something that I haven't thought about in a very long time the winters in my childhood um, we didn't have a gas heated home the way that other people do um, we had just regular electric heating but the actual like circulation for the uh, the central air would break I don't really know why it kept breaking or what exactly was wrong with it but there were you know multiple winters when we couldn't afford to fix whatever made the uh, the central air heat the home and we um, couldn't afford the electricity anyhow and so we just didn't heat it in there now this was multiple winters in my childhood I'm talking you know preteens and also uh, early into me being a teenager I remember there were multiple years when my window was damaged and so there was just a uh, like piece of plastic that my dad had um, sealed onto the window where the glass once was of course that didn't do the best job at keeping the cold out and if you pair that with the fact that we didn't have heat and it was snowing outside um, it was going to be pretty cold in my room but I just bundled up and had sheets over myself and I remember actually feeling comfy like I'd get my hot cocoa out and I'd have my sheets drawn over me and I'd I'd be on the computer and I was just fine those memories are so warm when I when I see those those images of that time in my mind's eye it's so warm I wish I still had the discord logs from that time I wish I still had my old account because I'd be going back and I'd be looking at all the stuff I was sending people about the the snowstorm outside and about me not having heat because I was talking to people about that stuff in 2017 you know when I was 15 years old but those things provide a warm memory in my mind there's no telling what the temperature was but you know it was below freezing point it was snowing outside and I just I didn't have heat inside but I remember being so happy and having so much fun and I think those experiences were formative enough for me to develop this preference for and tolerance of the extreme cold so I was sitting here and then this thing was like near here kinda but then there was a water bottle which was like 25 percent full you know it's about a quarter of the water was in there and I was getting really excited by something I was reading on the computer and so I put my hand on the keyboard accidentally bumping this thing with this fucking fork protruding from the side and then that fork pushes the water bottle onto the floor right by my power strip with my you know TV and and 
Japanese 360 and computer plugged into it, all this different stuff, the, the fucking um, power supply for my uh, Ethernet box, so the box that uh, allows me to send the Ethernet to all these different um, consoles and computers and stuff. Um, I mean, I have everything plugged up in there. And uh, the water spilt right beside it. Thankfully, it did not spill inside of the machine, at least not as far as I can tell. It didn't get in the surge protector. But I wasn't about to take the chance, so as soon as it happened, literally as soon as it happened, even though my computer was still on, I just flipped the switch on the surge protector and then yanked the cord out of the wall, which was easy to do because the, the, the cord was right next to me, the socket. Um, but man, that was really scary. <laughs> that was really uh, terrifying. Um, what I'm going to do now... Now that I've tipped it over and dried it off and everything I, I could possibly do is leave it for like five days, you know, maybe even longer depending on how paranoid I get, and then wait to power it up until then. i um, not going to be able to access my like YouTube account or anything like that to upload during that period of time, so I'm going to be on hiatus for a little bit not going to be on Element either, but I think it's really for the best because, again, on the small chance that water did manage to get into it, I don't want that water to, to you know, lead to anything bad. I don't want anything bad to happen to my stuff, or to me for that matter, because water and electricity is no laughing matter. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to have some offline time, I guess. I can still use my X60 to access, like, the image boards and the, the BBS. And I can communicate with people on there. But, um, otherwise I'm going to be AFK because of this strange situation. Um, now, thankfully... The water didn't get near any of my other stuff, so I can use all this stuff. Um, I don't even think any of it got inside the actual surge protector. Most of the water, the vast majority, was actually still in the bottle, which leads me to believe that, like, it didn't tip over when it was on its way to the ground. It just kind of fell um, on its side, which, you know, obviously the impact from landing on the ground would have naturally led to some water being spilled out, but given the fact that it never tipped over at any point, it didn't actually have the ability to get most of the water out of the bottle. And Obviously, in that situation where it was falling upside down, that water would have absolutely landed on the surge protector. Um, but it didn't. And that's my assumption as to why I couldn't find any on there. But again, or inside for that matter, after taking a flashlight up to it. But again, I'm not going to take any chances. You really can't with this kind of thing. You want your electronics to have longevity and also yourself, electrocution is no laughing matter.